Um, uh, we be good. Oh, six says hello. All much more fun watching Starship than New Glenn. I think it's more exciting because you never know what's going to happen with Starship. We be good. I, so because it's still such a prototype that it's so much more fun to just hope that everything goes well. I do that with like every every rocket launch too. I want every rocket launch to go well. I want everything to just work out. But uh, Starship, if you're watching Starship and you're like, ooh, this, this is going to be exciting and it's going to be, it's kind of reckless and it's kind of punk rock in a way. But at the same time, it's like, man, don't blow up. Just don't run. Please. I want cool stuff to happen in space. I don't want to run for Starship. I want cool stuff to happen. I want us to launch and land these things. I want six of these per per day to launch. That'd be insane. Six launches and 12 landings would be insane. They could rush it, but will they? I think the, I think the program has matured enough. And I think the, um, I think the head of Starbase and engineering at Starbase, even though Elon is still the engineer, right? He's the top engineer. I don't think they're going to rush it because they have proven to everybody so far that they know how to make prototypes. They haven't proven yet that they know how to make a fully capable, super heavy lift rocket that's orbital and is dependable for missions other than prototypes. They haven't done that yet. And I'm like I said before, I want SpaceX to succeed. I am not a hater. I want them to succeed. I have a podcast called the Elon Musk podcast because I'm a fan of what the guy does. You can check it out on all podcast platforms. Look for me. There's a stupid idiot out there that's trying to rip me off, even though my podcast was there first. But there's a pod. I have a podcast about the guy because I believe in the things that he does. Um, but the fact of the matter, and I've been doing that for five years. I've been doing this channel for five years. I wouldn't do this if I didn't like it. And I wouldn't do it if I didn't believe in it. But I think the fact that it's still a prototype and you have to think about this in your heart of hearts, people. Think about this in your heart. It's going to take more time because they want to get it right. And they want to be at the company that sends the next people back to Mars. Um, it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild in the next six months. In the next year, things are going to ramp up dramatically for Starship. I think the ramp up for this is going to go like, because right now it's like, yeah, 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 going up and up and up. And then I think this year is going to go like straight up because once they hit orbit and once they start doing missions in orbit, once they start launching Starlinks, like dozens of Starlinks at the same time, I think people are going to really pay attention. I think people pay attention now, but they're like, eh, it's a prototype, you know, especially people that know what's up. They, they think um, they know it's a prototype. They know things could go wrong. And if you don't think things are going to go wrong, then you're just being naive. But if the fact that Starship actually launches and successfully orbits and succeeds in their missions, whatever those missions are for paid customers or for Starlink, by the way, Starlink is a paid customer for SpaceX. They're kind of two entities. So Elon does this really well. He has a bunch of different companies and those companies pay each other. So he keeps all the money basically. He's like, well, I need satellites. So I'm going to make a company called Starlink. And then I'm going to make this company called, I'm going to make Tesla robots. I'm going to make uh, parts from Tesla that work with Starship. <laughs> it's funny though. It's very funny. I, I'm going to say nice things anyway, man. Blue Origin killed it last time. They killed it. They got, they got a great performance. I'm going to, I'm not a hater. I, if somebody does something well, I'm not going to be like SpaceX number one, Blue Origin sucks. Like, that's stupid. Go back to high school. You know, what are you, a jock? Not you, Zesty. I'm just saying, like, who's going to take position? Who's going to take a side like that? That's just silly. Not you. Not you, Zesty. I'm just saying people that are like total haters of either company. It's like, dude, one, it's a giant corporation. 
You're you're literally rooting for a giant corporation. It's like, dude, I want Walmart to win. No, I want Target to win. <laughs> Not you, Zesty. I'm just reinforcing the fact that people that are tribal about space flight, I don't get it. I don't get it because, you know, the whole team space thing. I want everybody to go to orbit. I want everybody to go to space. I want every company to succeed. I'm a fan of space flight. Am I a fan of SpaceX? Yes. Am I a fan of Blue Origin? Absolutely. I want them all to succeed. I want all I, the politics of it suck. The politics of it are just, it's stupid. It's stupid. I don't know why people, not just us, but the other people that are in charge, like the politics of the people in charge, it's just disgusting. You know, there's, there's people and I don't care who's in charge. Jared Isaacman is a good dude in charge of NASA soon. Hopefully, man, I hope he changes some stuff around because there's some, just some, just negative, negative things going on. And it's just politics, you know, like we were talking about earlier, Jim Bridenstine and his lobbying group making millions of dollars just to talk to people about stuff, you know, and the, the fact that people are like being so, and I've, I've had these people, right? So I was on the side of highway four while they were building the first iteration of starship. I was there for like a year, right? And people would come up to me and they would be very political. Um, and they'd say things like, because this is when Elon wasn't, very political. Like he was, he was pretty like, I don't know, pretty in the middle about stuff. And people would come up to me and be like, Elon is just an idiot and whatever, you know, just talk about politics about Elon and about SpaceX and stuff. And I'm like, dude, don't you want to see this rocket fly? I'm like, it's not about the people. I mean, sure. Elon's done some very questionable things. He's a very questionable. He's a very, Let's just say intriguing person to say it nicely, but he, uh, like, we don't talk about that when we talk about rockets, right? We talk about the rockets. We talk about the things that they do. We talk about the missions. We talk about the important things that are going to be happening. People living and working in space, people living off earth's gravity, like away from earth's gravity and somewhere in the solar system. Like how many people have lived off of earth? zero they've done work on the moon they haven't lived off the earth once somebody lives off the earth like goes to mars and even i would say i would say do a little trip a little camping trip on mars for a week um that wouldn't be considered living off earth i mean you're you're going to be out for a year or two right because you're going to have to fly there and back but that's, I don't know. That's a tough one too.